before and after. Alrighty guys, welcome back to 1822 MC Adventures and more. This is my channel and my name is Pete. And today we're going to make a fish sandwich. Yep, that's right. The other day I caught a couple nice ones and uh, we will make a sandwich today. And when I came up with the bright idea of doing this, I looked in the refrigerator and what didn't I have? Tartar sauce, of course, right? Well, guess what? A quick little Google search and I Googled up some tartar sauce. I've made my own and I'll put the recipe in the video about right here. All right, guys, and so what we're going to do today is I have one whole bluegill that we're going to fry up, and then I caught a shell cracker that was bigger than my hand, a nice one, and I filleted him, and I didn't do too bad of a job of filleting him, but I filleted him good enough to make a sandwich out of him, so uh, well, let's get down to business. I'm hungry. All right, guys, first things first, let's make some tea. Always remember, don't fill it to the brim or you'll spill it all over yourself. I'm sure there'll be more than one tip, but today's tip is if you got a sport bottle like this, put some duct tape on it for fires and repairs and duct tape some stretchy cord to the cap so you don't drop it in the dirt. Don't learn the hard way like I did. Okay. And that little cup right there, I got from River Country Products. It's a stainless steel cup. I guess you can Eat up water for oatmeal or instant coffee or tea. That's what I've been doing. I don't know what it cost in today's world, but I know I didn't pay but about three and a half dollars for it, four fifty maybe tops. Been very happy with it. Got a lid on it. Like I said, it's stainless steel. Price was right, and they make one bigger than that. If I was to order another one, I would absolutely order the bigger one because you could actually maybe do a little more cooking you at least heat up more water this one's like a cup and a half you know like i forget how many milliliters i'll let you know after that when i edit it but the other one is about 300 milliliters bigger than this one and it boils really fast well not that fast but uh and we'll be drinking some Bigelow English Tea Time Black Tea. And this one does not have the bergamot in it or anything like that. It's not an Earl Grey tea. It's just black tea. This is what I'm going to make my sandwich out of. This is the fillets I got off of that shell cracker. And after I cut his head off, that's what we got left of the bluegill. And I'm going to dip him in an egg and then dip him in some Aunt Jemima. Yeah, that's right. That's the real deal. That's Aunt Jemima pancake mix there, guys. When the fucking wacko fucking snowflakes started melting and, and went into fucking zombie land and they went to outlaw that and the Uncle Ben's and all this other good stuff that a lot of us grew up with. Well, I went down to the store and I bought all they had. I still got a couple more boxes of this i think i got one more bottle of the syrup but yeah fuck you to you idiots that fucking got offended by a fucking black woman making a name for herself fucking idiots what's wrong with you fucking communist cocksuckers well i actually i know what's wrong with you i'm not going to say it here because i don't think youtube would appreciate me uh explaining it All right, we'll just turn this up. I 
So no shenanigans. However long that took is how long it took to get to a boil. Not bad if you ask me. And then you get it off the stand there before it falls off. And we'll just set that right there. And put the lid on there like that. We'll move that over there. So, oh, you're not supposed to see this. I forgot about this. So, in order to do this right, I need an egg. Excuse me while I go get an egg. Knock, knock. Ooh, looking pretty good today. We'll go with this one right here. Thank you, girls. Thank you for the egg, Blue. Nice egg, huh? All right, so now that I got a nice fresh chicken egg, and this is one that one of my French copper morans laid. They lay these nice super brown eggs. Very, very good, rich egg. And I got some regular oil. This is my tartar sauce. And this is a bun for the sandwich. All right, so we were out in the woods and you didn't want to bring half your kitchen out there. A plastic bag will do a dredge just as good as a, a Tupperware or a stainless steel bowl. We'll just put this in here like that. Okay. Put some oil in the pan. You know, Grandpa's red bandana has about the same powers as Grandma's fucking nasty fucking Kleenex she keeps between her boobs, right? Nobody knows where these supernatural powers come by, but eventually you get them. Okay, so let's take some Aunt Yamama and put that in here. You know, and I know allegedly the Pearl Milling Company or whatever these idiots changed the name and logo to, they say it's exactly the same shit. Well, guess what? If Aunt Jemima's not on the box, it ain't the same, period. I don't buy their shit anymore. Now when I, when I get pancake uh, mix, I'm buying like Hungry Jack or whatever the fuck's on sale. I don't give a shit. It's all the same to me now. Okay, so... Before I get ahead of myself, let's light the stove up. And this is not my green Coleman propane stove. This is a butane, like a backpack. This is a bigger version of that stove right there. Runs on the same gas. I just don't use it very often, but like if you and a couple friends were going to go hiking or camping together, that might not be a bad one. As long as it's not really cold. These tanks are not worth a shit in cold weather, but uh, they're not bad. Although I do think... Oh, please tell me that one's... Hold on. There's over a half a tank in here. So this should burn pretty dang good. But as you can see, it ain't burning real good. One of the reasons I don't like using this thing very often. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. No, nope, it's just the stove, I guess. I don't know. Well, we're cooking anyways. I ain't going in to get the fucking green meanie. Well, actually, I am. I'm not going to sit here and wait on this thing to warm up. Give me one minute and I'll be back with a stove that won't fail me. Alrighty, guys. 
So, back with the green meanie, it never fails me. That grease is just about hot. So what I'm going to do here is we will uh, double dredge these, I guess, is what we'll do. Now we'll put these guys in the egg mix. Now I suppose if I would have remembered, I could have easily put some milk in there, right? Well, I'm not a chef, so you can't expect me to remember everything, right? Okay, we're going to put a little piece in there. Oh, it's absolutely hot enough, guys. That's awesome. Okay. Oh, boy, that's cooking up quick. I might want to turn this down a little. There we go. Okay, now I know a filet like this does not take long to cook, so we be flipping these guys. Give them another minute there. Man, that looks good, don't it? You take your chance on messing up the camera. Yeah, looks good, don't it? Well, hopefully that's back where it was. Okay, so now what we will do put that in there. I'm going to turn this off for a minute. Fresh shell cracker fried in Aunt Jemima pancake flour and an antique Griswold number no. four cast iron skillet. It don't get much better than that, guys. Okay, what do I need now? I need a knife is what I need. go you know this is kind of a this is kind of a pain in the ass sometimes but uh keep these together on a carabiner and you will not lose them all right now i'm not gonna do this today normally what i would do is i would put some of this mayonnaise on the bun and then I would fry, not in a grease skillet, but in a regular skillet, I would go ahead and fry up the uh, bun with mayonnaise on it. Way better than butter. That's tip number two today. All right, so let's try out some of this here uh, tartar sauce. I don't think it looks like much. What it is, is it's sweet pickles and mayonnaise, mustard, and lemon juice. And then I put a little bit of onion powder in there. And I also put some uh, garlic powder. 
And then I took some uh, Tony Somebody's Creo seasoning and put that in there. And it, uh, well, it don't taste like the stuff you buy in the store, but it don't taste bad. So we'll put that there like that. Well, we'll do a double dose. How about that? Now, it'd be nice if I had me a little bit of uh, lettuce to put on here, right? I'd top it off really nice. All right, so there we go with that. Put the lid back on this. Now, it's probably ridiculously hot, but we'll give it a shot here. All right, guys, so here we go. A fresh shell cracker, fried up, homemade tartar sauce. Let's do this. Oh, man. You have no idea how good that is. My wife, one of her favorite fishes to eat is shell cracker. And uh, I'll have to say that myself. This one is really good. Then I used pancake batter. You wouldn't have to use Aunt Jemima's. But if you got it, I'd rock it. But yeah, pancake batter, double dredge, egg wash, fresh filet. This is good, man. I got the microphone in my throat. It probably picks up all that noise. Let me turn the camera off, guys. Finish up my sandwich. Man, that was like the best fish sandwich I've ever eaten. The only thing that would have made it better would have been homemade bread. I got to catch me another fish for uh, a fish sandwich. Because that tartar sauce is out of this world. I'm serious, guys. You've got to make it yourself if you like it. And then you can always tweak it with what you want. You can put a little dill in there or whatever. Um, but something that's on my list of things to do is eat a bowfin. And when I, when I was catching these fish, I noticed that there was either gars or bowfin that were out there swimming around doing what they do so uh next time i go down to the river i'm gonna take a bigger pole with me and i'm gonna go try to catch uh, a bowfin we'll see how that works out and the tail almost like fish bacon mm. man that's some kind of good we got to do this again, guys. Sorry, I don't have enough for everybody. Go catch your own damn fish. <laughs> All right. Well, I had a semi-emergency text. We're gonna clean. I gotta go in the house and clean this mess up later. Absolutely enjoyed cooking this for you guys. Fresh shell cracker sandwich and. A fried bluegill, some kind, oh, excuse me, dang, some kind of good. See you in the woods, guys.